Hi guys, uh, quick video from me. Um, today I'm going to show you just the basic of things, how to change for people who have just got the computer or uh, all this stuff. Um, how to change your background, your screensaver and your themes and stuff like that and uh, on the Vista, um, on the Windows Aero, uh, how to change the, the, the colour and the shades of that. So if you first, if you just right click, this is to change most things, go on to personalise here, that loads up. So a box with this lot coming up. Uh, Windows color and appearance, desktop background. Right, at the moment I'm going to show you how to change your desktop background. All you do is easily click on there. Uh, I've got some loaded up already, so just forget about them for a sec. It should be normal on sample pictures, which will show you all the ones that Vista has already got on the system for sample. Uh, but if you've got um, if you've got um, pictures that you've saved off the internet, all you do is you, you right-click on them, save, um, save the file onto you your hard drive and then all you do is if you're fine with the R say you go on to um, I don't know you can browse browse is easier uh, if you go on to say uh, more pictures and you've got all your picture folders there if you've got the folders if you're not you just click on what you want and you go on to say I want to look at other backgrounds you look at all of these ones um, I'll go back one because I may not want one of them ones space warp over there my that's what I like looking at uh, if I just scroll down to the one you like, scroll down to whatever one you like I like that one and just open that and then if you should look it'll be the one that you chose um, now that's quite an easy way of doing it and all you do then is you make sure that it's uh, make sure that when you're looking for them you get re uh, you, you look on Google, you go onto images and you look for large images uh, any of the smaller ones will look pixelated and they won't fit the screen properly so make sure you've got uh, fit to screen and then I just click OK, and that should be fine. Now I'm going to tell you how to set up a screensaver. If you just click on the screensaver below the desktop background, and it will say screensaver settings with all this kind of box. Little uh, d uh, desktop shown in the middle, little monitor. No, I do. I've got none. I haven't got one selected at the moment. But all you do is you can download different ones, uh, but these are the default one, except for that one there. I've downloaded that, but it's not very good. Um, these are the default ones like Aura, and all you do is you go on. You can go into Preview. And you can preview, and that's what it'll look like in the little little monitor. But it, it, if you click preview, the whole screen will pop up. I think I think the um, it'll work. No, I don't think it'll work now. Uh, and you can set it to wait for five minutes. That means if you don't touch your, your computer for five minutes, it'll it'll the, the screen will automatically change to the new screensaver. Um, if it is move your mouse or click the mouse, and it's fine. Uh, you can go into settings. Oh, okay, go one that maybe has settings. No, this one doesn't have settings either. Um, sorry about this. Bear with me a sec. No, no, I don't think any of the Vista um, like basic ones have settings. So if you just click apply, I'm not going to click because I don't want one. Uh, and it should work depending on how long you put it to uh, work on resume. So now I'm going to show you. You've got, this is called Windows Aero um, with all the different where well, you can put the themes on that lot. If you go into Windows Color and Appearance at the top. And you've got all these default colours here. These are the ones that Microsoft think that you're going to use the most. Uh, but you can always click on that one. And then because it's turned to uh, quite a dark grey, if you just go to colour intensity and you just go down to literally nothing, it'll show up pretty clear. Um, and you haven't got a problem about that. You can go to mix a colour and you can you can do you can do your own customised um, colour on there, which is which is, which is no problem. Um, if I go back once, so that's how to do that, and then all you do is you click OK here, uh, and you can do it to any one of these. So um, if I just click cancel, and you'll go back to the one I wanted. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to change um, the theme. Now I've done a recent video on this, how to download themes and stuff like that, and change them. I've downloaded quite a few, uh, but unless you've downloaded them, you won't you won't need to mess with the theme settings because it will just you just won't have enough to mess with. Uh, I've got ones like Steel Flash and stuff like that. It will just change it to to different things. 
Um, and all you do is you click apply and it will say please wait and then it will pop up on the screen and there you go, you go I'm, I'm going to cancel that because I've got the one I've got uh, you can go to mouse pointers and you can just pretty much mess with your mouse and you can change what your mouse looks like uh, the scheme, you can go into any of these variations, you can have different ones on uh, I haven't downloaded any extra ones um, you can either have the dinosaur ones and you can have little dinosaurs on there stuff like that, I just think it's quite funny to have a little dinosaur on um, options you can have to go, you can make it um, depending on the sensitivity. So if you put it up fast, if I move my mouse it, it slightly, it will zoom off to the end of the screen. Um, so that's what you need. That you need to keep it roughly in the middle. Otherwise, you'll end up just going around the screen. And you want me to get what you want. Enhanced pointer precision. It means if you've got something to click on that uh, maybe is very very small and your pointer hasn't got that on. Then maybe you might not hit it sometimes. So make sure that's that's um, that's checked. Uh, I've never really bothered with that. Um, you can have a trail, but it looks kind of cheap and tat uh, and, and tatty. So I don't really normally choose that. All it means is when you move your mouse around in the map, you'll get like a, a, a trail of say fifth, uh, say five to ten of the of the mouse is following it, which is pretty much what a trail is. Uh, you can hide the pointer while typing. So while, while you're typing on the on the internet or any of the word products or anything like that. Um, It'll hide the. It'll make the the um, the cursor go away, that the pointer go away. Sorry. Uh, show location of the pointer in a control key. So say if you've lost your, your you've lost your mouse and you don't know where it is, if you click that and all you have to do is hit control as it says there, control, and all it'll do is a little yellow or, or I think it's yellow or red uh, bubble comes from your mouse wherever your mouse is on the map, uh, wherever you're on the desktop, and it will show you exactly where it is. Uh, uh, wheel hardware. You don't really mess, need to mess with any of this stuff. Um, next, I'm going to show you um, display settings. Now, depending on your graphics card, I've only um, this is on my laptop, so I've only got a, uh, a, a Go 7400 GeForce uh, Nvidia, so it's not uh, the the greatest of best things. I normally keep mine at the the highest resolution, which is what the laptop is based on. If you change the, the resolution, it means that um, it means that your computer runs a lot faster because you're not using up so many pixels on the screen. Uh, but things like desktop icons become pixelated, which isn't so good. Um, I wouldn't really recommend messing with this if you're just a first time or just a basic user. Um, only advanced users really mess with them because if if you change something and it doesn't allow you to see something on the screen and you can't change it back, you're in a bit of trouble. So if you're going to do this, make sure you know what you're going to do. And make sure you know what you're doing. Um, that's pretty much it from the uh, from the personalised and um, from the customised side of things. So uh, <clears throat> this is just for um, as I say, basic users. A bit uh, bit offensive. I'd say um, beginner users uh, that maybe aren't so familiar with Windows. Maybe you've come from Mac or Linux or anything like that, or any of the any any of the other uh, operating systems to Windows. So. This is a quick video tutorial to show you um, how to do the basics, how to personalise your your desktop so that it looks a lot better to you. Um, so I hope I've helped and thank you very much. Please subscribe, any comments will be gladly um, read and replied to. Thank you very much.